So Dunkirk has hit theaters, and it's hit theaters in many different large formats. So I'm going to kind of explain the main differences between IMAX, 70mm IMAX, and your regular showings uh, with props. I brought some props to hopefully drive this point home. So, for the last 100 years, film has been shot mostly on 35mm film. We've recently switched to digital, but for the last 100 years, if you've seen a movie, it was shot on 35mm film. This is 35mm film. It's actually filmed from an old still camera. Um, so you can see that the film ran horizontally through the camera. However, if in a film camera for movies, it runs up and down usually. And we'll get to that later. So 35 runs up and down gives us a little bit smaller of a frame. A frame on 35mm film is probably about the size of my thumb. Um, you know, I can't say for sure, but that's just eyeballing it. That looks about what the size will be. So my thumb is about the size of one frame of 35mm film. Some directors think that 35mm is better than digital. Some people think that digital is finally caught up to 35mm. Um, it's still hotly debated, but there's one thing that really can't be debated, IMAX. This is huge. Remember how I said a frame of 35 millimeters about the size of my thumb? There's my thumb, there's IMAX. I'd say that's about 9 to 12 times the size of a 35 millimeter frame. You'll also notice, remember how I said that film ran up and down in um, cinema cameras for movies usually? Not IMAX. IMAX is like a still camera. It runs side to side like that. And this makes the frame even bigger. You know, think about it. If you had this frame running up and down like that, you wouldn't have as much area as you would running left to right. And that's why people love IMAX, because the frame is so big. A bigger frame gives you much more quality. So an IMAX film cell is pretty much the highest quality picture you will ever see in a theater. Yes. Uh, this here, this this is the... a. Uh, IMAX film cell from Interstellar. However, this scene right here was not filmed in IMAX. A movie is has to keep on a budget, and shooting the whole movie in IMAX 70mm would be way too expensive. So they shoot some of the movie in 35mm, and they'll shoot some of the movie in 70mm. This part of the movie... As you can see, it was shot in 35mm because you have the black bars on the top and bottom. If this was the scene that was shot in IMAX, the black bars on the top and bottom would not be there. They would, it would fill this whole frame. So that means that since it's going from 35mm to 70mm film, you're going to notice a aspect ratio change. Now aspect ratio is simply the size of a frame. So think of old TVs were 4x3 aspect ratio almost a square whereas new TVs are 16x9 aspect ratio more of a rectangle. So just think of movies switching shape during the showing. So the amount that it changes shape will depend on which showing you go to. So there's three basic showings. You got your regular showing, your digital IMAX, and your 70 millimeter IMAX. So for a regular showing, it will basically stay in that wide aspect ratio. See that aspect ratio right there? It'll basically stay that really long rectangle. This is called a lot of people say cinemascope. Um, I believe like 
2.35 to 1 is the technical name for this aspect ratio. Could be wrong. Um, I'm just going by what's on off the top of my head for that number. So your aspect ratio will not change for a regular showing. Okay. There's going to be... It's basically going to be cropped for all your IMAX. So... Say this scene was IMAX and these black bars weren't here. If you're seeing it in a regular showing, it's basically like pasting some black bars on the top of the frame. So you're not going to be seeing the whole picture in a regular showing. That's okay though. Uh, they definitely frame the movie so it looks good in this aspect ratio. Okay, you're not going to... You're not going to be seeing people's heads cut off, you know, like some, <laughs> like some movies do when they try to crop aspect ratios and things like that. Then you have digital IMAX. Most IMAXs are going to be digital IMAX. You'll know if you have 70mm IMAX if it says 70mm on your ticket. If it doesn't, you're seeing it in digital IMAX. Digital IMAX is a little bit taller than your regular screen. So it is going to change aspect ratio and you're going to see that much more picture. So it's going to go from this size to this size. And like I said, that much more picture is what you're going to be seeing. If you go see it in 70 millimeter IMAX, it's going to go from this size of screen and for I, when it switches to an IMAX scene, you're going to see this much more picture. So you can tell, you're going to see a lot extra picture in IMAX than you would if you saw it in digital or regular. So if you want to see the whole frame, you don't want to see anything cropped or anything, go see it in 70mm IMAX. And I think people will be very happy. I think... The main reason for 70mm IMAX is it's huge, which means great quality, and you also get to see the whole picture. That's the main two reasons you want to go see it in IMAX if you can. Um, IMAX also has better sound, louder sound. You're closer to the, th to the screen usually with IMAX, which means it fills more of your peripheral vision. Um, that's, that's with any IMAX theater. That's just what IMAX does. So that's the basics. Um, hopefully I explained that well enough. Um, just wanted to make a quick video, get it out there, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe, um, check out my other videos. Um, yeah. What was my last video? Was that the year? I, I made a year name uh, review. That's the last thing I did. So, yeah. 70mm IMAX, go see it if you can.